So today, YouTube, I'm unboxing a Soul Food drive pedal. So you get the pedal, you get bubble wrap, you get the mains adapter with it. There's also apparently a battery inside the pedal, which is standard for electro harmonic pedals. You get your leaflets, your sticker. Yeah. The stickers, electro harmonic stickers, which are pretty cool. So, yeah. So, uh, let's open it and uh, plug her in and uh, see how it sounds. And, We'll stack it as well. So this is the pedal out of the packet. As you can see, very good quality. Pain in the backside to change the battery because you have to unscrew the back, but I don't use the batteries anyway. That's why you've got this, the mains plug. So there we go. Let's undo the uh, mains plug. And uh, yeah, plug a guitar in and uh, see how this drive sounds. So I've got the Soul Food plugged into the Fender amp and I'm using my Jazzmaster guitar, one of my favourite guitars, and we're going to see how it sounds. All at 12 o'clock. So this is the clean channel. Completely clean. I'm going to switch the pedal on, the soul food. Treble and the bass and the mid, the middle on the amp are at five o'clock. Um, yeah, that's how it sounds. Very warm. <laughs> distortion pedal but that's what um, it's based on it's based on a uh, the uh, famous uh, pedal clone <laughs> position split the humbuckers on my jazz master <laughs> Turn the drive down a little bit more. Um, 
this is what you get. So yeah, it's very uh, tube screaming, but probably a bit more sort of warmer. So it's that that kind of thing. So yeah, that's at 10 o'clock, the drive. Um, put the uh, tone, the, I mean the treble at 10 as well. <laughs> If you put a bit of reverb on, I'll just use it on the amp. I usually have a pedal for reverb, but. <laughs> pedal I usually use but um, yeah, I've just got the pedal plugged into the amp for this demo <laughs> This is your amp sound. Then you put your pedal on. So, so we've got the volume, obviously you can turn the volume up. Um, let's, let's go drive at one o'clock. We use the treble in the middle. <coughs> so it gets a bit more.
right up my street because I love blues. So. <laughs> went a little bit out of tune because of all my bending. But yeah, so. Three o'clock, the drive. So get into more classic rock, 70s kind of thing. Three, let's say. <laughs> as well I have a 60s Marshall as well and I'm sure they'll sound I'm sure the pedal will sound great uh, through them <laughs> single coil mode on the jazz master all that time so I'm gonna go now so I had the button the push pull up so I'm gonna go full humbucker now <laughs> Overdrive, let's say. <laughs> drive on full, obviously the volume can go up higher if you want. <laughs>
not well. So, uh, yes, great pedal. Um, the best uh, copy you can buy, <laughs> I think. Um, especially for under £100, um, it costs. Um, electro harmonic pedals are fantastic pedals. Love them. Um, Boss are good as well, but um, yeah, they've got something about them which is very, uh, very cool and vintage. So yeah, that was my little demo on the uh, Soul Food today. Uh, plugged into the Jazzmaster, my favorite guitar, which was single coils and it was humbuckers as well. Great guitar. Um, let's see how it stacks with a Muff Overdrive, which I demoed not too long ago. Great pedal for blues as well, if you want to get that squeezy Albert King, Freddie King sort of vintage amp tone. This will be great. I'll, I'm sure this will stack well. Let's see. One way to find out. So yeah, everything's halfway on pedal, muff overdrive, 12 o'clock, halfway. Everything's halfway on the soul food. So let's see how it sounds and let's see how they stack together. So. Let's see how they both stack together. Now I have stacked the Muff Overdrive with a Tube Screamer, a Green Screamer, which is a copy of an 808. And it sounded really good. And it sounded like a real 1969 thing going. Albert King, you know, the Fillmore East sort of sound in 1969. Uh, yeah, so let's see how this sounds. <laughs> it's not gonna sound terrible or pretty, pretty, you know, hardcore. So, soul food's on, my favourite drive. <laughs> really well so what I'm gonna do now because they were both at 12 o'clock so they're both quite you know rocking so, I'm gonna use the soul food as my clean boost it's like a light overdrive so around 10 o'clock sort of thing so it's this kind of Becomes like a like a sixties fuss thing going, you know, because it is a it's based on the first fuss circuit, the Muff Overdrive. So 
with the soul food as well stacked it it's got this real good 60s thing going on um, yeah you get into then sort of Henrik sort of thing don't you <laughs> Without getting too like fuzzy, where it sounds pants basically, because um, I've never been a massive fan of fuzz, um, but it that has really surprised me that, and I, I I did have a good feeling that they would stack really well. Um, so I'm going to go to single coils on the neck pickup on the hook, uh, jazz mask. <laughs> If you had a strap, this is the kind of thing. Yeah, this is the kind of thing you get if you plug the strap in. But so this is now single coil mode. <laughs> thing going on now so this is like well as much fuzz I'll go <laughs> I think because I'm not a massive fan but um, sounds very cool like it do like it so if I turn the volume up a bit on the muff overdrive <laughs>
that's how you get a 1960s sort of fuzz thing going. The muff overdrive is great and the soul food is great. So that's me done. Um, stay with me, like and subscribe uh, to my channel and I will do some more videos on pedals, guitars, whatever I have. Um, my personal gear, nothing I'm selling or anything like that. This is just my gear. Uh, I like to uh, give my um, knowledge to the world um, yeah, to make it a better place and for everybody just to keep learning and um, keep the music alive. Okay, thank you, goodbye.